Hi, I'm Kenty, and my Stackathon project is Dorda. Now, Dorda is a multiplayer fighting game for your browser. Uh, the game is really straightforward. I'll show you. You play as a cat with kung fu skills, and you have to defeat your rival feline in a showdown taking place in the local forest. So the mechanics of this game are really simple. Uh, they're a hybrid of many different types of fighting games. You have a health bar uh, that shrinks when you take damage. So you have that. And when your health is gone, game over. But you also have a capacity bar on the side, which keeps track of how much damage you've taken. So the more damage that you take, the, uh, the further back you get knocked. Uh, and then you can also do some things like combos. And I'll show you some moves that I created. You have your crouch, which can, which can block. You can also jump. You can double jump. You can even triple jump with the uppercut. <laughs> if I can get it. There you go. And you can also do some things like dash, as well as uh, fireball in this local build that I made. So we have that. Yeah. And yeah, you can come up with interesting combos. Like this one was a, I found was really cool to pull off if I can do it. Let me see. So yeah, it's pretty fun. Uh, but what fun is just local multiplayer when you can take this online? And so that's what I wanted to do with this game. And so uh, I had Andy and David uh, join our Dota lobby to demonstrate how the game goes. And we'll just spectate while I talk about the game. So let's see if they're in the game right now. Uh, yes. OK. So this is their game that's being played. And I'll just talk about how uh, I built the game. Basically, the, the game engine is built with the Canvas API that got brought in with HTML5, as well as WebSockets. So I set up the game with a game loop that runs, and, uh, that runs continuously whenever the browser window is active. And uh, for the local multiplayer version of the game, there's three steps that occur in each, of the loop, in each loop. First, the user's input is uh, processed. And then the state of the game is updated. And last, the game renders an image on the canvas based on the current game state. And so this is all on the client side for my local version. But for this online version, I'll talk about later. Uh, so let's talk about the first step, which is the input step. That's where the player's key presses are translated into, uh, yeah, there's a bit of lag on the Heroku server. But oh, that's because you probably are all logging on watching the game. So <laughs> well, the first step is the uh, input step, where the key presses are translated into actions uh, for the game to process. For, for instance, if you press the space bar, the, the input step will translate that to an action, like jump. And then the second step after the input step is the update step, where it takes the previous game state as well as the player's actions and creates a mutated game state. Now, the, the game state is a collection of values that can determine exactly how the game should function and appear at a given time. And so in Dorda, my game state has things tracking uh, values such as the player's position, their velocity, their acceleration, as well as things such as uh, when was the last time they jumped, when was the last time they took damage for like invulnerability frames, as well as things like whether the, uh, the screen should shake if you hit the wall, or uh, if there was a uh, or frame should skip if you want to have this really nice animation where you, like, uh, you have a pause whenever you take damage. So um, that's, that's the update step. And then the final step is the render step, where uh, the game translates the game state into an image of how the game should look at uh, that certain point in time. So if a player jumped, uh, this is where the jump is visualized in the image by a uh, horizontal transform of the player's graphics. So the game, uh, this online version of the game, was made just uh, with WebSockets. And I migrated, basically, with the three-step process of the local version, I just migrated the update step to the server side so that um, players can send their inputs via WebSockets to the server. And then the server is actually in charge of running the actual game, where uh, it's being played by all the clients. And it broadcasts the actual game state, the authoritative game state, to all the clients who then render that game state. And so that's Dorda. I hope you enjoyed my presentation. Thank you very much.